Are you got one? Oh, two. oh my gosh! Two. Ha, ha. Two <laughs> you got two rockets on one end. All right, so we wanted to take the whole family fishing today, but this fishing spot that I want to go to for bigger fish is too dangerous for this little dude. So first, we're gonna fish with him here at this little park, and they have these little fish that we're gonna catch, that we're gonna use those little fish later with hummingbird here and ax to go try to catch some bigger fish in a more dangerous area. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, what is that? Now that bird's probably here to fish for the same little fish that we're here to fish for. Yeah, go ahead. Give your shot. Now, watch your bobber. Oh, there it is. They're already getting it. Still tugging? I got it. I got oh. one. Yeah, you got one. Nice. Reel it in. Tiny. Nice. Look at that little. Oh, just popped off instantly. Oh, we're going to use that as a bait fish? We can, yeah. That's good. All right. There we go. One bait fish already. Good work, Ruth. Nice. So, the bait we're using a shrimp and we're using little bobbers here. You're going to push the button and hold it down. Okay, and cast. There you go. Wait a minute. Fish and my box. You got one? Yeah. All right, survival mode here. We we're trying to figure out how we make a bobber when we don't have a bobber. So we got this little nut we found on the ground. And there we go. All right, let's see if this floats. Ah, yep. oh, it floats. Look at that. One. All right. And that's how you make an improvised bobber. You made it. Yes. So pregnant is here. I mean, Trinity. <laughs> she was gonna come bring cedar fishing, and she has just been rough super morning. rough morning. Very tired, and we're gonna let her rest up. And I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, I got so, a burst of energy, and I was like, oh, I can go. So you gonna help us scout some fish? Yes. All right, let's do it. I'm not fish. Okay, so we're thinking it'll be easier to catch fish on this bridge up here. You see those over there? That school? Oh yeah. If you oh, could just oh, toss it out there. Oh, you got one? Oh nice. I All right. Right it's completely finished. Yeah. Axe got one here. Nice work. There you go. Alright, we got how many fish we have now? Two, you're right. Nice. We have the bucket. Oh, we got another little one here. Perfect. Ow, ow, ow. There you go, yeah. Almost. Pick it up. Dude, check it out. Look at that, we got another one. That's perfect. You got it? Oh, it's hooked through the eye. Oh, let me see. Oh. Wow. Look at that, That's mommy good. caught one. Nice work, Trini. Dude. I'm over it. You wanna hold it? Okay, all right, throw it in the water. Uh oh. There you go. You got another one? Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Oh, that's a good size one right there. It's like on the bigger end of what we've been catching. That's perfect for our hooks. That would be perfect. There we go. All right, well, I was hoping that catching little fish would be easier for cedar, but it seems as though it wasn't that easy. So we are going to use this net right here to let cedar catch the fish that we already caught and transfer them to this cooler. You ready? You catch one? Scoop it up with the net. Oh, try again. Scoop it like that. Now, now pick it up. Oh, you got four. Look at that. All right, can you dump them in here? Dump them in there. There we go. All right, nice. We gotta zip it up now. There we go. All right. All right, folks, we have plenty of bait fish now. Let's head out and try to catch some bigger fish. All right, so you guys, so climbing down here isn't necessarily that easy, okay? So be very careful. These rocks can roll. They just, you step on them and whoop, and you slip and fall down. We're going down all the way down? Yeah, we're going all the way down. So just be careful. There's glass everywhere too. Watch out for that glass, see that? So unfortunately, I can't show you where we are right now because it's a local fishing spot for the local fisher people and I just, uh, I want to be sensitive to that. I don't want to tell you where we are. I spent a lot of time scouting out this spot. It's pretty remote, and usually when it's remote, you have the best chance of actually catching a fish. So, fingers crossed. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Wow. We're making for that point right there. You see how it's all wet right there? That means the waves splash up right there. It's more dry right there. You're doing good, hummingbird. The wind's pretty heavy, so I'll probably be yelling a lot. 
Yeah, Axel, it, it's just too slippery right there. Axel went the wrong way. But I guess there's no wrong way when you're adventuring. <laughs> Yeah, these are perfect for putting our fish in when we catch them. No, we need to put the little fish in. True, yeah. That is true. So when you're fishing, a lot of time is just spent getting tackle ready and set up. A lot of people do this before they get out to the fishing spot. I haven't learned my lesson yet. Yeah, that's it. Look at that, they're still very alive. So this looks like a perfect little tide pool for our fishing friends here. So I'm gonna dump them in. Yeah, very much alive. Not for long. I couldn't help myself there. <laughs> I shouldn't have dumped them all in because now I need one. <laughs> Can you catch one, hummingbird? Thank you. Got one. Got one. All right, here we go. Let's get in the water. All right, I'm wedged in. Let's see what happens with that pole. You got one? You got, you got one? Yeah. Axe had a fish. So, hummingbird, don't fall in, but if you did fall in this water, you know what you should do? What? Don't swim towards these rocks. Stay away from the rocks, okay? Swim out further and yell for me, and I'll come and get you, okay? But you stay away from the rocks because the waves will slam you into the rocks if you're close to them, and that's when it's really dangerous, okay? This thing's getting a lot of activity, and it was hitting earlier, so I think I should probably try to reel it in now. Oh. Took my hook. Darn. Whatever was on there took the hook. I had something on. I should have taken it right when I saw it was on there. Oh, you got one. Nice. Not big enough. Oh, that's a beautiful jack axe, but not big enough, right? All right, go get bigger. All right, I think we're going to try to move over there. That looks like a better spot. All right, so our bait fishy friends have just gotten comfortable in their nice new tide pool home, but we're moving to the other side. So sorry to say, fishies, we're going to have to move you too. Oh, he just jumped in the water. <laughs> four. Uh, all right, we got four. There's a couple left, but uh, we don't need them all right now. So let's head over to that spot. Hey, you got it. Nice work. Look at it. Oh my gosh, look at all those. Hey. A lot of little fish in there. There's a neat little swimming pool here. We could take Trinity and Cedar here and they could hang out and have some fun in the pool. So I didn't want to fish on this side initially because see all these rocks are wet? It makes them slippery and also it means that the waves crash here sometimes and that can be kind of dangerous. But I've been watching the waves for a while and everything seems okay. But we just got to be extra careful when we're standing on the side, especially when you catch a fish. Because when you catch a fish, you're starting to think about the fish, not your footing. And you could slip and fall, bust your head, or fall into the ocean there. We don't want that to happen. So. All right, so we just got here. Dax already caught one. It's Christmas a little rass? Christmas wrasse, yeah. Calm down. Oh, that's a beautiful little Christmas wrasse. Nice. All right, who wants to be bait? None of you? I understand. I wouldn't want to be bait either. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a little bigger. Look at that. Yeah. All right, dude. Stop flapping. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. All right. See ya. Yeah. Uh, no, right there. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Woo. Fish on. Oh, my gosh. It's a trigger fish. Look at that. So this is the state fish of Hawaii. The humuhumu, nuku nuku, apu aa. Apu aa. I, it's been so long I forgot how to pronounce it. These trigger fish are actually pretty good to eat, but we can't keep this fish highly illegal. Gotta throw it back. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but they make this farting noise. <laughs> Excuse you. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. You got one? Oh, man. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they both caught a rockfish at the exact same time. Tiny little rockfish. Oh my gosh. It pulled me in a rock. Hey, look, your first fish of the day. Good work. Hasta la vista, baby. I don't even know what that means. What does hasta la vista mean? Hmm. See you later. See you tomorrow. Comment down below if you know what that means. I think I used to know what it means in a past life. Long forgotten. Oh, fish on, fish on. And what is it? It's a wrasse, what do you know? <laughs> hey buddy, hey, hey, ow, gosh. You got one? Oh, two oh two my two. gosh! Ha <laughs> ha! You got two rockfish on one end. <laughs> Reel that in. You got two fish on one hook. Again, you remember you did this a long time ago? On a single hook? How is that possible? Yeah. No, remember? This this bit it look, it completely slid up the hook. I this know. tried to eat this one probably. No, it can't or eat it. it. There's it, no it way. Tried, they both went for it. The they same just time. both went for it at the same time. I cannot believe this. This is so rare, y'all, to happen. And this happened once before with the same exact type of fish to this same exact hummingbird right here. Uh, 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 a uh, two years ago, I think. Wow, I can't believe this. This is so cool, man. Really. Costa. Wow. No, remember with Isaac. I'll, I'll show you the video. We'll watch it later. No, I, I know. I remember now. Oh, you got it. You got it. Reel it in. Reel it in, girl. Yeah. Woo. Okay. The, both these fish are on the same hook. I've never seen anything like this. Look it. So this hook went through that fish's mouth, and then the other fish got snagged on it, I guess. But on that, two. Look at that. Check that out. I've seen two fish caught on a treble hook but not a tiny little hook like this. That is bizarre. All right, there you go, lucky fish. So this is a stocky hawk fish. Can you say po'o pa'a? Po'o pa'a. Po'o pa'a. Say it again. Po'o pa'a. There you go. Oh my goodness, this is just bizarre. Wow. All right, you guys, it's getting late. I hadn't had any big leg. What do you think? Should we come back out tomorrow? Yeah. You wanna come back out here tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think this is a good spot. We didn't give it a fair chance. We got to get out here earlier. We're going to come back out tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, folks, we're back out here at the fishing spot. But it is not looking good down there. I don't think it's going to happen today. Let's go down and have a look, though, just in case. <laughs> what do you think? No. <laughs> We can feel the ocean spray all the way from here. We thought it was rain. <laughs> Woo! Nah, I'm good. It's just too dangerous, y'all. Too windy as well. That's where we were fishing yesterday. That's where River caught those two fish at once. These waves are just too big. There's a little crab right there. Um, it is one of No, it doesn't. Get it. Ah, ah, there's that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah. Get it, get it, get it. Ah. Oh. Get it. Gotcha. Yeah. Can we eat it? <laughs> Let me see. Pick it up. Uh, oh, no, wow. Not big enough. No, not quite big enough. Ow! <laughs> That's the pitch of you. <laughs> Oh, watch out. Woo. All right, well, this fishing spot is not going to work out. What do y'all say we go get a Christmas tree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're going to have to call it quits here. But uh, we're going to go get a Christmas tree instead. We're going to have some fun. Let's go. And let's All right, folks, we are here at the Christmas tree place, and we've got a lot to choose from here. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. This nutcracker's seen better days here. <laughs> They're not doing so good. This is a cedar tree, right? No, this is the uh, cypress, yeah. So this is pretty neat. It looks like this tree farm here, they 
grow a tree and then they cut off the top but then another branch comes up like you can see this one right here Wait. and they can get many many trees Wait. out of one tree let's let's go harvest. look deeper That's in the forest cool deeper into the forest let's go this way we're gonna go this one so which tree do you want to get that one. that one he just the first tree he saw he goes that one Move it the other way. I did. They're not smooth that Next. way. <laughs> yes. This would be a great place for hide and go seek. It would. Oh, that's right. right. That's for hide and seek. All right, you want to play one game of hide and seek? Yeah. How right. you're right. What do you think that is? What is it? What? Oh. Eleven. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. So I can't see anything from up here, but if I go down low, my field of vision is a lot better. I can see people walking. Oh, I see somebody walking right over there. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, you made it. You got there first. Hey. Ah, oh, scam. <laughs> Did you get rid yet? No. Oh, I see oh. her. I thought I saw a purple shirt. I see her. <laughs> hey, where are you going? The wrong way. Oh, there she is. I do it. Hi. You see River? No? I see her. I spotted oh, her. Really? You should wait on How did she get all Oh my gosh. How did she get all the way down there? I see her, River. She was just way over there. Over here, way down here. She's messing with my mind. <laughs> there she is. I see her. Oh, God, God, God. No, There's no My fall. Slipper fell off. Oh, where? When did it fall off? Like just now? <laughs> Slipper falling off is a legitimate reason for a pause and hide and seek. One, two. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you, too long. you're fast. You got there a lot faster than I thought you would. We should play again. Uh, look at that one. Seven is purple. That one looks good. Purple seven. I like this one. Oh, look at the little Norfolk over there. Look at those. It's on Aww. sale for 30 bucks. That's I like cute. that. 30 bucks sounds good. This is awesome. Oh, look at it the is. cute little cones It on smells it. good too. They're real pines, so they, we can actually smell pine needles and feel like we're, you know. Every day, and by the time Christmas comes in a week, there'll oh. be no more needles. Be <laughs> gone. So this plant is really cool, y'all. Watch this. You touch it. <gasps> it's berries. The leaves. The berries. Look. Just watch. If you touch this, those leaves fold up. Oh, fold really? down. Touch it. See how the leaves fold in? They know when you're touching it. So bizarre. All right, folks, it's come down to a vote here. We're going to have to decide by sheer power of numbers what Christmas tree we pick. So what we're going to do is uh, we have Smell two best. things to pick from here. Put in my hand the one we shall choose. This one. Okay. I don't wait. I don't right, think, I think, I think what he means is I want to keep this one. Yes. <laughs> we'll try it this way. Cedar, I present you with two choices here. Which pick one do you want? the one. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Take it out of my hand. Which one do Which you like? Which one of these do you want? That one. Okay. okay. All right. Cedar votes for the Norfolk. Okay. Okay. That was difficult. All I right. vote for the Norfolk. <laughs> I vote for the Norfolk. Okay. Axe votes for the Norfolk. Okay. All right. Hummingbird's doing the sniff test. Yeah, I want the Norfolk. The Norfolk. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got three votes so, for the Norfolk. So. I vote for the Georgia pine here. What? And uh, Trinity. No going back on your vote. Well no going back on your vote. But then, see, there are six members of our family here. So let me listen. And uh, baby, what are well, you saying? What? It, what is it? A little louder? Oh, yeah, they want this one too. Uh, mm. Mm, but well, it's three to three. <laughs> we're right back at the same spot <laughs> we were. This is why we shouldn't have had an even number of kids. Okay, all right. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to have a fist fight to yeah, break the tie Cedar's here. Yeah, Cedar's running to get the one he wants again, look. <laughs> He's off to get that one. Uh, Cedar, come fist back. Fight. Cedar, come back. Fight. This is one of those instances where we're supposed to like default to our I guess so, yeah, because we're trying to create the experience for them, I guess. All right, so I think we found 
the one. The one tree to rule them all. Look at that, there's a natural star on the top. It does, yeah. See that? No, 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 it's eight. That's See, that. Cedar, Cedar's already putting Christmas presents down there. That'll be our guiding star. Oh, Cedar, he has chosen. He has placed the shoes. So look at that. It does look like a star. That's so cool. Wow. Perfect Christmas tree. No, but below it is a star. Yeah, yeah. There you go, keep going. There you go. A little more, keep going. That's good. It's great having kids to do all the work for you. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely they not more work. More work. <laughs> that's it. Set it in. Perfect. All right, y'all excited to get home and set this Christmas tree up? Yeah! All right, yeah. let's what do are we it. Up today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's head home. We're gonna put it right here? For now. Oh, no, it's 75. 98 inches. The super gravity is above the microwave. Okay. You ready? Absolutely. Okay. It's all the way down. This one's. Uh, we definitely should have tried to find it. We're going to barely have enough. Are we going to have enough? Alright, lights out. Ready? Uh, oh. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I'm just saying that. Yeah. So. Oh, Great. I like, like it. Alright, well who wants to make marshmallows now? Me! Alright. There is a foot right there. No, that's not that's too Dude, big. For feels a foot. like enough. Feels like a full on foot. Yeah, feel. There is it's huge. Oh my gosh. There's something alive in there. Might be their shoulder actually. Look how adorable that is. <laughs> like that? <laughs> now I just need it's 700 so more. We're making little baby snowflakes to put on our tree. Fridge. So now we're cutting fruit to dehydrate so we can put them as ornaments on the tree. Nice. Alright, so for the marshmallows that Trinity's gonna make, she is going to use only this gelatin, maple syrup, vanilla extract and a little bit of sea salt here and she made this for river's birthday for hummingbird's birthday and it was so amazingly delicious all right first we'll add half a cup of water to our bowl then three tablespoons gelatin then i just kind of mix it just a tiny bit here and this gelatin is going to sit for a little bit in this water and do what's called bloom now we're going to add another half cup of water into our pot and then one whole cup of real maple syrup. You can also use honey, but since I'm cooking it, I prefer to use maple syrup. A little bit of salt, maybe about a fourth teaspoon or so. Now for the hard part, which is boiling this until it reaches 240 degrees. Turn your heat to about medium and then just let it start to do its boiling magic and you're going to continually stir it. Yeah, there are bubbles in it, but do you know what it is? It's eat bubbles. Because it's not soap, you can eat these bubbles because it's actually syrup. Oh. Let this go. Yeah, there you go. Oh. 205? Yeah, 205. Okay. We have 35 more degrees to go. <laughs> And you have to watch this very carefully because if you get it much higher than 240 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to turn it into maple candy, which is not marshmallows. But it's very delicious. <laughs> All right, this is looking just about done. You can see how the texture has changed. Now we need to incorporate this into our gelatin mixture and we have to work fast. Go ahead, just start to pour it. Just a little bit. All right, let's. All right. 
start off a little bit slower as you try to get all that gelatin broken up with the sugar. And then you can gradually turn your speed up and then you're gonna mix this until you see it turn into a marshmallow texture. firm up because we want to toast them over a campfire. So yes. who wants to make a campfire? Yes! Alright, yeah. let's go make a campfire. Dog sticks aren't quite long enough, so uh, oh we're gonna have to oh fix it. I'll have another there. one. With some duct tape. Oh. There you go. Okay. All right. Well. Give me. And then wait a little bit. You need another hot. You need two like this. We'll wait a little bit. All right. We need to go rinse your hands. Is that hot? Ooh, That's why they call it a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a dog. Don't make that mistake. Do you think it's a baby boy or do you think it's a baby girl? Baby boy. Baby boy. Is Axel a brother or a sister? He's a brother. Is River a brother or a sister? Sister. She's a brother? And brother. What's daddy? Is daddy a man or a brother? <laughs> My man or beast? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's apparently he thinks you're a beast. Sleep in the tent. You want to sleep in a tent tonight? You yeah. want to go camping tonight? Mm. All right. Well, if we do, mm. mommy can't camp with us. She's gonna sleep inside. Do you want to sleep outside in a tent with daddy? Mm. You do? Yeah. Okay. Or do you want to sleep with inside the house with mommy's? Or do you want to sleep inside with mommy? Inside the tent. Inside a tent? Okay, all right. All right, well, I guess this has turned into a fishing, Christmas tree, camping, marshmallow making and cooking <laughs> episode. <laughs> Backyard Actually, camping. <laughs> Cedar does not sleep without Sarah, so we'll see how this goes. Well, he does. He just is like right across from me. We're working on it. I mean, it. in the so same room, so <laughs> he, he doesn't do. And even then, he's like constantly trying to mommy, come sleep mommy. in the bed. <laughs> we're, we're, are you learning how to sleep in your bed? What are you doing? Yeah, right? Because mommy's gonna have a new baby. Oh, what you, about mommy? All right, it's time to check on the marshmallows here and see how they are firming up. Oh yeah. Yep, that is the consistency of a marshmallow. Perfect. Tell me what you think. I think it's looking okay. good. All but, right. uh, now stay back, doggies. Is that okay. right? Oh yeah. Oh, they're not. They're not as sticky now. Nice. Now we're gonna take this bit of marshmallow. It's not as pretty as the other store-bought marshmallows, but it tastes way better. I think it's prettier. And there's, I agree. But you know, for you know, everyone wants their stuff in a perfect little package. Yeah. You know, but it's, it tastes so good, uh -huh. and it's just no extra yuckiness. Yep. For real. All right. Oh, oh, pull all right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's already done, dude. You're gonna eat it? Is it too hot? See, 
Cedar, can I try it? What do you think? Mm. It's good? Mama okay, it? look, bring some to Mama. It's hot. Oh, my gosh. It's hot. Good. Oh my gosh, it's so much better because it just instantly melts. Yeah, it does? yeah it's just like That's instant, but you get very little fire needed. That's oh. amazing! I'm so excited to try this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful because so this good. is... Yeah, it, it like oh insta melts. Oh my gosh, that's so okay. crazy. Oh, mine is fluffing up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that gooey perfection there. Oh, we can't leave. We mm. find unattended. Oh. Oh my gosh. It literally becomes like liquid in your mouth. As soon as you do it, oh my gosh, that is so good. Hands down, the best marshmallow I've ever had. Mm. Oh right, so man, toasty. It's like melty perfection. Trinity, thumbs up for Trinity mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help set it up. You wanna help set it up? Here's the cover, we'll need the cover. Alright folks, we got the tent set up, but now it's time for some laser tag. And Tex, you and I are on a team. Oh yeah. We're gonna destroy these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even say that with a serious no, face. She's such a good no, mom. We're gonna destroy these kids. I mean... <laughs> Hummingbirds hunt me down. I'm out already. Ah, that's not fair. They're picking on the pregnant lady. <laughs> what? Dang. All right, so now it's me and Hummingbird on a team versus Trinity and Axe. If they go in that corner, you go on one side and I'll go on the other side. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay. I'm out before you again. How many you got? 25. Oh my gosh. How are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> Yes. So Trinity won this one. Guns up for Trinity. <laughs> Drift was the loneliest of snowmen. Made from the first blustery snow of winter, he'd been built fast and then forgotten. Drift stared into the frosty night. He knew what he had to do. He reached up, removed his last remaining gift, and gave his new friend something to eat. If you're gonna go camping in the backyard, don't chew in the book. Have a night night. Oh, I love you so much. There we go. Oh. So Cedar requested to be read this book again. So I guess it's a winner. He reached up and removed his last remaining gift. And he gave his new friend something to eat. And became the most perfect snowman of all. All right, we're going to try to keep him distracted. We'll see how this goes. One time, there was a dragon. And it was a little dragon. A little dragon named Cedar. A little cedar dragon. Good morning. This little guy slept through the whole night, never complained or asked for mommy. I am so proud of him. So proud of him. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What you doing? Come on. No, 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 no. Get out. Can't get in there. No. We don't want you getting the bedding on, dude. Alright, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Oh my gosh, these dogs are freaking out. They're freaking out, huh? Good morning. You slept all night in the tent, dude. Good morning, Riv. How'd you sleep? Good. You slept good? Awesome. Did you sleep in the tent all night long? Baba, you did. You slept I in the tent. You. Oh my I'm goodness! I'm so proud of you. That's you. Oh, I am any mini one. How's the baby growing? Coming along. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> they're asking for breakfast. Yep. They're getting huge, I feel like. Oh, man. All right, folks. Well, I think that's about it. 
for this adventure. Yes. It's been a very different adventure and that's kind of how things are going to be going. We're just going to keep things simple for now. But we're so glad that we could share even this with you all and we're so grateful that Trinity is healthy, coming along here with this strong baby. And I don't know if we're going to post again until Christmas. I don't know what's going to happen. We may end up doing every other week or something like that since this, this uh, baby is taking priority. Trinity is getting more and more like, mm, I'm just chill, I'm just laying down. And that means that I'm taking over a lot more and uh, hopefully I can do a good job of that. Um, I don't know if we'll, I love you. I don't know if we'll see y'all or y'all make a video before Christmas, but if we don't, Merry Christmas. Until next time, remember, life's an adventure. And love is a key. And love is a who. And love loves you. And you. And, and you, 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 and you, you, and you, and you. you. <laughs> we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. You gonna say bye? <laughs> <laughs>